half hours. It's been a while, but it's time for another pretentious bit out. Have this one up for the for the old uh, discussions. Ransack the universe. This is the first one of the collective arts beers that we got back from. Oh my God, it's a big spitter. Ransack the universe. Look at him. Let's get it cracked open. Canada. Ta-da! Welcome to the party, Canada. I've been lamenting for years the disparity in craft brew between Trumpiston and True Trumpiston. True Trumpiston. Back to the review. Wishing for Canada Brewers to go for it with their Hemisphere IPA Collective Arts has done it. Incredible amounts of citrus and passion fruit. I think you mean <laughs> maracuja no, on the nose with a perfect balance of malt and hot bitterness on the palate. Well, fruit forward, nice backing of pine and pot. Well, there'll be plenty of pot in it now. Hey, Canada. Oh, Canada. It's now not illegal to smoke the marijuana. A complexity and a promise of euphoria. Considering how hoppy this brew is, I would have expected massive abuse. But instead, you are rewarded by something supremely balanced. 6.8% ABV. This easy drinking balance is even more exceptional. He loves it. 16 ounce can sent by Brewer. Usual IPA looking beer under a frothy head. Smell surely has a lot of northeastern hop in abundance, including the cat box smell. Smell of Amarillo's, to which Galaxy hops are closely cousins. Just enough amber malt to try and keep the whole beer honest. Plenty enjoyable if you like the burn of excess hops, which I do under the right conditions. Grilling some brats for my week's lunches on the night of Labour Day to close out the summer. That'll do. He's got his sausages on the grill for the rest of the week's dinners. Why do we need to know? We don't need to know. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeast, mango, hops, orange and a pine tart aroma. He got fruity and bitter. He got fruity and bitter. Just wanted to. Wait a minute. Blind tasted with three other hazy IPAs. Beers were Sierra Nevada, Holiday Haze IPA. Collective Arts Ransack the Universe IPA. <laughs> Show Fuse, Lucy Juicy. And Collective Arts Collective Project IPA. Project four. Rate of one. Rate to the beers. Rate to the beers. Rate to the beers. Four hundred seventy-three milliliter can. Hi. Four gold pour. Aroma is light tangerine and fennel. Diesel. <laughs> Flavor is a touch malty. Lemon, lime, decent bitterness. Cookie. Okay. Post tasting thoughts. Might have been a touch old. <laughs> mm. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> do I have enough patience to rate this completely? <laughs> have I got the time? It smells like everything that's awesome. <laughs> Papaya, star fruits, melon, green grass, bubblegum, pink lemonade, perfume when warmer. Excellent flavour. IPAs are so friggin' great now. I don't know what qualifies as exceptional anymore. Mango, melon, peppery bitterness, grapefruit, caramel, other tasty things. <laughs> ah, I've really run out of patience, clearly. Other tasty things, end of review. Oh, can from beautiful beers. Pause, a cloudy yellow with a frothy white head. 
Big pineapple and tropical fruit aroma. Hints of funky yeast. Funky yeast. Full mouthfeel. Juicy, fruity fruit. Fruity fruit salad. And a nice malt backbone. Excellent bite at the end of the bittering hops. It's a sneaky one. It gives the perception of one of those juicy New England style IPAs. And then it bites you in the bottom. <laughs> With the bitterness. Brilliant. Easy drinking even at 6.8%. Lovely and interesting at the same time. A demandingly bitter IPA from Ransack. This fresh can from the LCBO pours a nearly clear haze amber gold with a creamy white head. Herbaceous tannic, leafy bitterness. <laughs> Herbaceous tannic is forthright and long on the palate, but not overwhelming. You don't want an overwhelming, herbaceous, forthright tannic bitterness. What could possibly be worse? Interesting ale fruit layers under it, like orchard fruit and some lemon, even some vanilla. Seems more than a bit British. Seems more than a bit British. At present, not my favorite collective arts brew, but perhaps worth revisiting for a change up sometimes. It's not British, not in the slightest bit. Can shared, very good. It did drink the whole thing, which is important to know. Clear gold pour with medium tenacious white head. Aroma is grassy, hoppy, light darkness, orange. Taste is bitter, very grassy, nice dank hop. I suspect a lot of mosaic here. <laughs> very clever. It says it on the can. Palette is medium bodied with light carbonation. Dusty. Can. Pours clear, pale straw with a small white head. Aroma is dusty. No, it's not. Biscuits and fruity hop. Taste is medium to very sweet and medium to very bitter. Make your mind up. Body is oily with fizzy carbonation. With fizzy carbonation. I mean, for the love of Christ. Think about what you're saying. <laughs> As opposed to the carbonation that's not fizzy. That's where I've been going wrong. We've just been using regular carbonation. Let's try using fizzy carbonation. Finishes long with notes of Vegemite. <laughs> he doesn't know what Vegemite is. He clearly does not know what Vegemite is. We have the equivalent of Vegemite in the UK. It's called Marmite. I personally love this stuff. Vegemite. Can at Torben Matthews Tastings. Nice head with excellent duration. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good duration of head? Colour is golden, aroma and taste are rich hops. Fruits, flowers, citrus, malt and has a nice happy finish. Moving on! There's always one. There's always one. We found it. The quality of any advice anyone has to offer has to be judged against the quality of life they actually lead. Ha! Ah, Daniel, sir. Very nicely part, Mr. Miyagi, sir. Crisp, ultra clear, golden coloured body with a large fluffy white head, about three or four centimetres. and fades down quickly and leaves a pretty ugly lacing on the sides. Oh, it has as well. Oh, that's disgusting. Aroma of tropical fruits with some stone fruits, a touch of grain and light malts, a dose of pure caster sugar, <laughs> and a lot of perfumey notes, mostly from the hops. Mm. Lily and marigold nose. <laughs> Clear yellow, medium head. Good lace, lily, grapefruit, medium body, easy combination. <laughs> and that concludes another episode of Potential Spin Outs. What more can I say? Other than, in the words of 
Mr. Mergi. Daar joh, zo. De first car is the deepest. Wax on, wax off. And that's it, fellas. That's it. Another pretentious beer notes coming right at you. So as always, don't forget to thumb this video, kiss the wrong Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, click your mom's hands right now. Tell everybody to get it to see. Until next time, I'm out of here.